Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. At Edutech I presented on flipped learning in one of the breakout sessions and after one of these sessions I had a really interesting conversation with a teacher who was also there with her daughter and her daughter had some really interesting insights and I wanted to follow up on that. So what follows is a Skype interview that we had a week or two after Edutech and it is their thoughts uh, and the young girl's thoughts on flipped learning and why she would like her teachers to engage in flipped learning. Okay. All right, so I'm Melissa, and I'm an e-learning integrator, um, which means I get to help teachers learn how to leverage technology to improve learning. I'm Ella, and I am in year six. When, when she had explained what like flipped learning was and um, why she would like me to come, I said yes because I, I thought that I could benefit from flipped learning. From what your mum told you, why did you think that you could benefit from flipped learning? I thought that if I was going to do maybe a test when I'm older, that like if I could convince my teachers that um, flipped learning was a really good idea and that it could work in our classroom, um, like that I could use it when I'm like older and in, in my classrooms. I felt like I had a better understanding of what flipped learning was. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought it was more likely than just an idea. It was like definitely a plus, like I could I could rock up at school and say, "My teacher, can we do this?" And they they probably asked me lots of questions about why we should do it and how we could do it. Um, at first, we might say no because um, they wouldn't have had any preparation. But maybe in a couple of weeks, they might have said if I just kept asking them, they might have said yes like just to try it. They are very excitable and um, they like to try new things. So I thought, I think that they would like that. I think it might be different reasons because we all learn like differently and we can all benefit from different things. Um, I think they would benefit from it because like we, um, in science say, we're learning um, how the, let's say, the procedure of the co uh, Coke and Mentos thing, you know that, that I experiment. That experiment. <laughs> um, so we were doing that. Um, if we had to then write the procedure of it, um, if our teachers used flip learning, we could go home and and thoroughly get out what our teachers said. And because my friends, they really like to watch stuff and watch how teachers teach and how like what they're doing, mm -hmm. um, I think I'd better mm -hmm. Well, that's funny because um, I love to crochet yep. and the other week... Um, Hashtag grandma. Um, and the other week um, I had forgotten how to um, start the crocheting hook, like to cook and start making the chain. Yep. So mum said try and work it out before you go on, go on YouTube, but then... If you still can't work it out after five goes, then you can maybe look up on YouTube how you do it. Um, I really like the idea of flipped learning, particularly um, because of differentiation op options it provides. So Ella Grace um, gets quite bored um, fairly quickly because she finishes her work in five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so extension is a real, um, is a reality for her. And so either she can sit there and wait for the rest of the class to go through explanations. She's already, you know, three or four steps ahead. And so um, trying to find uh, ways to extend her um, without adding content um, is a real, is a real challenge. And so using something like fluid learning means that um, because she is uh, quite thorough, it means that she would go over and over, you know, there's some tasks and she'd go over things and she'd be able to actually um, go deeper in her learning because she's able to engage that explicit content um, when she needs it. Flip learning is like when a teacher videos themselves or another student videos the teacher teaching them their subject or their lesson um, so that the students can take it home 
or take it to a different lesson or take it to the library at lunchtime. And uh, when they're doing like their projects or their homework, they can understand what it is um, and go over and over and over and over about what the te teacher said um, rather than just hearing it in a split second. And then sometimes if you are a, like a slow writer and you have to write these things down, you might miss up a really crucial part of the like, information. The reason why um, we should use flipped learning is because as a school, we and teachers, you, the teachers generally like sport speak quite fast. And like as I said, if you're trying to write stuff down for an essay or a project, um, you might miss crucial parts of the project. And if you were using flipped learning, instead of missing pieces. Um, you could go home and like check your work and say, oh, I missed that part. That part's really important. Um, yeah, maybe like library. So what do you do in your library lessons that makes you think it might not be able to be flipped? What we do is we write book reviews of the book that we were previously just reading mm -hmm. and we finish and we fill in our primary reading challenge, talk about ways that like you can make your reading reviews better and that's that all. Maybe I, I, I have two. Music, because yep. like if you're learning a new instrument, using flipped learning um, and you have to go home and practice the instrument, you can make sure you're putting, say you're playing the clarinet, um, you can put your fingers in the right spot and get it right and continuously get it right. And so it's muscle memory. And so you can get the right pictures as well. Um, I also think maths, because if you're learning like a new strategy of how to work out a particular pro problem, and that's the strategy you're focusing on for like, say, three, three lessons. And then, because in my class, if we do a focus, then after a couple of lessons, we do like an assessment. If we want to do really well in that assessment, students, if we were using the learning during that, could then really understand what the strategy means and is so that we can like use it without having like muscle memory, I guess. Yep. Um, without have, our teacher saying, oh, you're going to use this strategy for this problem, we can just straight away say, oh, that's that, that strategy, oh, that's that strategy. And there you go, some thoughts on flipped learning from a student and from a parent. Two stakeholders in education that we don't often engage with explicitly, particularly at conferences. I hope you found that as interesting as I did. Thanks very much for watching.